Tristan in Havdrup, Denmark. Okay, uh, Havdrup. Um, he says, I genuinely love my speaker's sound. Good. And I don't feel the need to upgrade. All right. But my impression of a lot of audiophiles and enthusiasts is that they think the sound of a horn speaker uh, produces an inferior, uh, is inferior to non-horn speakers. Okay. I don't hear what all the fuss is about. Okay, let me, let me guess, Tristan, you got horn speakers, right? <laughs> but sure, there is a difference in sound uh, signature, but both can sound great to me. Can you please explain if there's something to back these claims up, or is it just hi-fi mumbo-jumbo? Yes, mumbo-jumbo, yeah. No, it's not hi-fi mumbo-jumbo. Um, acoustic horns are definitely something that have been around for a long time. And we know that one of the reasons that they exist is that a long time ago, in order to get loudness with small amplifiers, you almost pretty much had to. You think back to the days of the Klipsch corner horns and Altec horn, all, all those horns way back when were there as a result of having amplifiers of only a few watts. Because remember, way back when, it was mostly vacuum tubes. We didn't have big powerful amplifiers and maybe you were lucky to have two or three watts, 10 watts. I mean, a big amplifier back then was 15, 20 watts and that you know, it took a lot of tubes. For most people, you're gonna have only a few watts and you want it to play loud and you want it to have bass. Well, really, the only way you can do that in a practical sense is to do a combination of the most sensitive, efficient drivers that you can, plus an acoustic amplifier, which is a, a horn, right? I mean, the opposite. You've seen these pictures of the horn uh, that used to be for hearing aids. When you talked into it, it would funnel the sound down into you know a little area. So it takes a big amount of sound, funnels it down and thus amplifies it. Now if you do the opposite, if you take a small opening and then spread it out like that, you get that effect where you're focusing the sound into a louder version of it. But when you do that, you change the acoustics, you change the frequency response. It sounds different. There's no getting around it. Now, some modern horn speakers, and there are a few of them around, sound very natural. They typically are using a lot of equalization to eliminate that effect. So a couple things I will say about horns. One, I don't see any reason for a horn anymore. They definitely aren't necessary. We have wattage up the wazoo. <laughs> if you need watts, we got watts, lots of watts. So you don't need it anymore. Um, there are people who will, this is a big surprise, argue with me <laughs> because one of the things that horns it, it, it do is allow a very, very sensitive speaker so that you've got 97 dB or some crazy number, uh, one watt in gets you 97 dB out. And there are arguments for using a specific kind of small tube amplifier and the sound that that gives. But we're not going to get into that right now. So generally, unless you're talking about a modern DSP um, uh, modified horn, generally a horn speaker will definitely sound different than a non-horn speaker. Now quickly, here is something really interesting. I've been around a number of horns, and um, because I'm used to non-horn speakers, I can tell you that as soon as I listen to it, I'm like, whoa, this, is, this does not sound right. There's something wrong here. And, and of course, it's the truncating of, of certain frequencies and all of that. I can adjust to that to where it sounds natural really quickly, maybe 15 minutes. And in 15 minutes, it sounds normal. And Tristan, obviously, has 
in his house, it sounds normal, and that's fine. But I'll bet if you go out and hear somebody else's system, it's not going to sound normal. You'll have to get used to that. So, hope that's not too convoluted of an answer. Okay. But yes, horns do sound different. Okay. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later.